and they're off in the Albany Stakes of 2023. A good start made by Pretty Crystal. Matrika over on the far side, the near side, passionately with Persian Dream. And most of them going towards the far side. Flachinello is fairly handy. Do it with Stahl is in behind with Carla's Way. The orange and black on the inside of that is Gushing Gold. They are then followed by Porter Fortuna. The pink armlets on the black sleeves, tracked by Comat and Orange Cap and the red hat of Mapmaker. Towards the near side, shaken along is Sarah Karna. Soprano is in the centre. The light blue colours. Persian Dreamer. Jabara is following those as they head down towards halfway. Dawn Charger is very, very prominent indeed. They're now running down towards the two. Dawn Charger, Matrika. Carla's Way just shifting slightly to the right. Navassa Island, the extreme left, looking to come into contention. Porter Fortuna making some ground as the field now have a furlong and a half to go in the Albany. Matrika is sent on here from Dawn Charger. Then Porter Fortuna. Carla's Way with work to do. Persian Dreamer, Jabara the near side, Porter Fortuna and Frankie finishing very strongly and getting to Matrika. And Porter Fortuna has taken over here. Half a furlong to go. Frankie in front. Matrika is rallying. It's 80 winners and counting a Royal Ascot for Frankie. Porter Fortuna wins the Albany. And they're off in the Commonwealth Cup. A very slow start. Re a rearing was at Shaquille. A brilliant beginning from Swing Along up there with Little Big Bear. Should have been a ring. The light blue colours is towards the back of the field. Handy is Rumstar and Queen Me, the sheepskin noseband, followed by Ocean Quest and the Exo in the purple. The black and yellow stripes then of Sakir. Marba on the near side over on the left, following Little Big Bear is Noble Style. And there, followed by Shaquille, who's pulling hard after that slow start with Lazoo and Frankie Dettori following Marban towards the near side as the field head towards halfway in the Commonwealth Cup. Little Big Bear on the outside of the Philly swing along. Queen Me is there. Ocean Quest looking for a way through in company with it should have been a ring and rum star and coming towards the near side Lazoo has still got plenty to do it swing along Queen Me Ocean Quest Little Big Bear is driven Shaquille is coming from a, a very difficult position at the back of the field to finish well as they head towards the last furlong swing along Little Big Bear Shaquille running a blinder then Ocean Quest and Queen Me Little Big Bear with Shaquille challenging on the attack the far side Shaquille having made a mess at the start is coming home brilliantly an extraordinary win in the Commonwealth Cup, Shaquille and Oshin Murphy for Julie Camacho denies Little Big Bear and swing along. They're off for the Duke of Edinburgh Stakes over a mile and a half. They came away to a pretty good line. Out wide Global Heat with a white cap just taking a while to work over. Likewise, owner mate Live Your Dream, the blue with the red cap. But they're in fairly handy position. So too Max Sood in the green and yellow and Stay Well in the yellow and blue. Nose bounded to Messias Fox, meanwhile, drops in down at the running rail and is tracking Al Nafir in the all blue silk who is another to adopt a prominent position as they run steadily downhill at the end of a quarter mile and head towards Swindley Bottom and it's Global Heat who's got to the front and leads up to Live Your Dream out wide and then Max Sood and Al Nafir against the running rail at the other end of the field Tyson Fury is the early back marker and is detached Stay Well tracks the leading quartet as they begin to swing right handed with Timesius Fox up the running rail and a sheepskin nose band followed by the grey haunted dream and then HMS president in a white jacket he races back towards midfield uh, Ajero in the dark blue and yellow is caught fairly wide as they run on down the side of the course and head towards halfway. Uh, Kita Sushi is among those held up at this stage with Amerik down on the inside and a yellow jacket held up likewise uh, White Wolf with a black cap, Akal in a black jacket is towards the rear of the field, Tyson Fury is still right out the back, Morakana in the light blue and pink is also among those held up with Lucanda in the purple and yellow. They're climbing now, heading towards the last half mile in the Duke of Edinburgh. And up ahead, the white-faced Live Your Dream has moved through to dispute it with Global Heat. Chased into the turn by Max Sud in a green jacket, Timesius Fox, the rail working across to just ahead of him, Alna Fear and Stay Well, then HMS president from Ajero. Mayhem Max is back in mid-division, the blue sleeves and cap as they swing for home. And Live Your Dream is the first to commit. He's kicked a couple ends clear here. Straightens up in advance of Max Sood. Al Nafir stay well in the yellow and blue. Out on the right, HMS President. Extreme right, Akita Sushi's keeping on in behind Ajero. The grey haunted dream is trying to thread a passage. Live your dream is being clawed back. HMS President, white jacket moving through. Here's Ryan Moore over the top on Akita Sushi. Beginning to power home. Inside the furlong, Akita Sushi. HMS President from the rear 
White Wolf is running on with Ajero. Akita Sushi nosing ahead from HMS President. Five on the week for more. Akita Sushi from HMS President. Live your dream. They're off. The Group 1 Coronation Stakes first run in 1840. The Old Mile stretches before them. An early pace, such as it is, comes from Meditate in the hands of Ryan Moore in the blue and orange with Sounds of Heaven, the yellow cap, now moving up to apply a little bit of pressure. Queen for you in a pale jacket drops in at the running rail. That Mama's girl in the violet silks is now adopting a more prominent position. It's beginning to sweep round the field to get within three parts of a length of the lead. Nose banded Remarque tracks them at the end of two and a half furlongs. And Tahira dropped out last of the half dozen as they make the steady ascent towards the five marker. And it's Meditate and Ryan Moore leading up, but only narrowly to Sands of Heaven. And then Mama's Girl out wide to Queen for You, Remarque, and Tahira in the emerald green looking on as they approach halfway. So about to make the swing for home in the coronation stakes and Ryan Moore setting the fractions here on Meditate leads by three parts of a length to Sands of Heaven. Mama's girl in a violet jacket has got a wide trip as they reach the crown of the turn. Followed into the straight by the nose banded to hear a breezing along out on the right. Then Remarque, queen for you, pink jacket looking for a way through up the running rail. Down inside the last two furlongs they come. Meditate up the rail. Here goes to Hira though beginning to power down the outside and to hear a beginning a very strong looking run has come sweeping through to take over inside the furlong to hear a forges on from sands of heaven meditate battling away a remarque keeping on in behind to hear a merely being nudged out this classy filly wins the coronation stakes for dermot weld remarque disputing second with sands of heaven <laughs> They're off. The straight mile ahead of them for the Sandringham Stakes. Rich, Polly, Pot, Novus and Jackio in a pink jacket get out well towards the near side with Schwarz here in the yellow also showing speed. Uh, towards the near side, Novus is now tracking the leaders with in behind Coppice the pink cap and then Copy Artist and Mabel Artiste in the black and white unless in the maroon and blue and Candle of Hope with the scarlet sleeves tracks them towards the stand side, the right hand group as they head towards towards the end of the third furlong. Over on the far side, the left-hand group being led by Faniska with the white cap. Right up amongst them over there is Youngest in a yellow jacket. And then Bella Fina with Chelsea Green second from the right in that group and further right to Clown Macken. Eximius and Zoe Innocent are also in that group with Bridestones and Celsabila and Magical Sunset as they go through halfway in the Sandringham. So two distinct groups, far side group, left-hand group just have a narrow advantage. but. Out on the right, Polly Pot in the pale colours is moving up with Schwarzier. Novus, Rich in a red jacket, is bang there with Mabel Artiste. Candle of Hope is still in the leading line. In behind, Jackie O. Pink with a blue cap. Frankie the pink cap trying to find a way through on Coppice as they move down inside the last quarter mile. So Coppice now finding a bit of daylight has come bursting through on the stand side to take over from Candle of Hope. Breeze in a green jacket is also picking up down the stand side. It's Frankie and front inside the furlong on Coppice. Breeze green jacket challenging hard. Balalaika is also running on. Frankie nudging away. Coppice in front. Frankie on fire on his farewell. Coppice wins the Sandringham from Breeze and Balalaika. Followed home by Unless and they were a little way clear of Candle of Hope on the far side. Lady Alara. And uh, they're off in the King Edward the seventh stakes. A good start made by Dubai Mile. Racing over a mile and a half with artistic start and a rest also handy in the pink cap under Frankie, but it's Dubai Mile, the white-faced chestnut that has the lead under Daniel Muscat, who now comes across and gets to the inside rail with the lead from Artistic Star. Arrest is in third place. Continuous is in fourth. The yellow of Relentless Voyager in fifth, and Kevin Stott on the favourite. King of Steel is last of the six in the early stages. The Derby second, but it is the Group 1 winning two-year-old Dubai Mile that leads the way to Artistic Star, seventh at Epsom. In second place, the Chester 
Festival's winner, Arrest, is just tucked in and behind his old rival, Dubai Mal, with continuous on the outside, the purple and white Ryan Moore, with Oshin Murphy and Relentless Voyager in fifth place. And still, King of Steel is at the back as they come to the end of their first half mile and reach Swinley Bottom, with Daniel Musket leading on Dubai Mile. Pace doesn't look overly strong. In second position is Artistic Star. Arrest is keen to go a little bit quicker, but covered up in third place with Continuous on the outside. Under restraint at the back still is King of Steel and Relentless Voyager is on the inside of him as they head back towards us and getting close to the halfway point. And as they pass it, Dubai Mile leads by half a length, just increasing the tempo to Artistic Star in second place, Rob Hornby, continuous, then on the outside of Arrest and still King of Steel and Relentless Voyager are the back two. So they've gone past the five furlong marker, heading towards the last half mile in the King Edward the seventh, and Dubai Mile continues to lead Artistic Star, poised in second with continuous and Arrest, waiting in behind Murphy just starts to niggle on Relentless Voyager and King of Steel has breezed past him and gone into fifth place but Dubai Mile trying to up the ante here but Artistic Star is right on his girth, Arrest is being squeezed along, Continuous waiting, King of Steel moved to the outside, he's going to have every chance as they turn for home and run for the final two, Dubai Mile and Artistic Star Continuous, still he waits on King of Steel to the outside and now Kevin Stott says go on the favourite and comes to grab the lead from Continuous and Artistic Star King of Steel, but Continuous not going down without a fight in second. But King of Steel's forging away. He's got a length and a half to two clear of Continuous. Then Artistic Star and Dubai Mile. It's King of Steel. He's the ruler of these, all right. And he wins the King Edward the seventh. The Derby second goes one better. Kevin Stott, the winning jockey. Continuous in second. Third, Artistic Star. And uh, they're off in the King Edward the seventh stakes. A good start made by Dubai Mile, racing over a mile and a half with Artistic Star and Arrest also handy in the pink cap under Frankie. But it's Dubai Mile, the white-faced chestnut that has the lead under Daniel Musket, who now comes across and gets to the inside rail with the lead from Artistic Star. Arrest is in third place. Continuous is in fourth. The yellow of Relentless Voyager in fifth. And Kevin Stott on the favourite. King of Steel is last of the six in the early stages. The Derby second. But it is the Group 1 winning two-year-old Dubai Mile that leads the way to Artistic Artistic Star, seventh at Epsom. In second place, the Chester Vars winner, Arrest, is just tucked in and behind his old rival, Dubai Mal, with Continuous on the outside, the purple and white Ryan Moore, with Oshin Murphy and Relentless Voyager in fifth place, and still King of Steel is at the back as they come to the end of their first half mile and reach Swinley Bottom, with Daniel Musket leading on Dubai Mile. Pace doesn't look overly strong. In second position is Artistic Star. Arrest is keen to go a little bit quicker but covered up in third place with Continuous on the outside. Under restraint at the back still is King of Steel and Relentless Voyager is on the inside of him as they head back towards us and getting close to the halfway point. And as they pass it, Dubai Mile leads by half a length, just increasing the tempo to Artistic Star in second place. Rob Hornby, Continuous, then on the outside of Arrest and still King of Steel and Relentless Voyager are the back two. So they've gone past the five furlong marker, heading towards the last half mile in the King Edward the seventh. And Dubai Mile continues to lead Artistic Star, poised in second with Continuous and Arrest, waiting in behind Murphy just starts to niggle on Relentless Voyager and King of Steel has breezed past him and gone into fifth place but Dubai Mile trying to up the ante here but Artistic Star is right on his girth, Arrest is being squeezed along, Continuous waiting, King of Steel moved to the outside, is going to have every chance as they turn for home and run for the final two, Dubai Mile and Artistic Star Continuous, still he waits on King of Steel to the outside and now Kevin Stott says go on the favourite and comes to grab the lead from Continuous and Artistic Star King of Steel, but Continuous not going down without a fight in second. But King of Steel's forging away. He's got a length and a half to two clear of Continuous. Then Artistic Star and Dubai Mile. It's King of Steel. He's the ruler of these, all right. And he wins the King Edward the seventh. The Derby second goes one better. Kevin Stott, the winning jockey. Continuous in second. Third, Artistic Star. Then Dubai Mile.